Hello, and welcome to A Word of Hope on Wednesday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time. Today's readings, both from the first reading, St. Paul's letter to the Galatians, and from the Gospel of Luke, continue the theme that I presented yesterday of the fact that we don't purchase heaven, we don't earn heaven, we don't convince God to grant us salvation. We have to be convinced ourselves and remind ourselves over and over and over again that salvation is a gift from God and that what we do is say thank you for it. Today he's really criticizing the Pharisees who knew the law inside and out in the Gospel of Luke. Jesus is saying to them, woe to you Pharisees. You know all of the, the laws that you're observing and yet you treat people unjustly. You know what the scriptures say, and yet you lay heavy burdens on people's backs. Woe to you, Pharisees! And at the end of the gospel, one of the scholars of the law says to him, teacher, by saying this, you are insulting us too. And he said, yes, woe to you too for laying burdens on people and not lifting a finger to help them carry the burdens. Once again, it's a teaching to us who do try to practice our faith so faithfully, correct? We try to practice our faith. We try to be devotional. We, we have our own observances that we like to follow. But it's teaching us that we need to go beyond them, that they're simply a vehicle. They're not an end in themselves. The law is not an end in itself. It's a vehicle for discovering Christ. It's a vehicle for discovering the goodness of God in our lives. None of the things we do can earn us heaven. I go back to, and I'm reading this book on the way of humility, which is saying that the way we can actually realize salvation is simply through humility. And the author of this book, who is a Benedictine, Andre Luf, quotes Isaac the Syrian from the 7th century, where he says, so long as someone is not humble, he will, not re he will receive no recompense for his asceticism. Recompense is not given on account of asceticism, but on account of humility. No more is recompense given on account of virtue, but rather for humility, which is born of the two. When humility is lacking, asceticism and virtues are in vain. I think that's what the gospel is trying to tell us. That's what St. Paul's letter to the Galatians is trying to tell us. Don't get caught up in our observances unless we are caught up in the signs of our Christianity that come through love. Without love, the observances are worthless with love, then they make all the sense in the world. God bless you.